Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. I feel very delighted today to bring you all this very beautiful vibrantly colored crochet hat pattern. It's a very simple pattern and yet it looks absolutely awesome. See, have a look on all the sides. I have added two earplugs on either sides and added strings to them. It has such a great texture and I have added a pom pom at the top of it to accessorize it well. So, so here to begin with, I first worked the rows of SCs that are worked one atop another and then went up to create the rest of the hat pattern. You can work this hat for any size. So then for any size that you're aiming for, just measure the head circumference and then work as many rows of these SCs so as to reach that length. Also keep in mind that you have to have the rows in a multiple of 10. So just keep these two things in mind and rest the pattern is same for all the sizes. Here I have worked an adult hat for which I have worked 110 rows which is a multiple of 10. Also it is the same length as I need for the head circumference which is in my case 52 centimeters. So just keep in mind that you have to have this band with the same length as the head circumference and also it has to have the number of rows of SCs in a multiple of 10 and that's it. Nextly, you can completely skip adding these uh, earplugs. If at all it's for an adult or if you don't wish to, it's completely optional. See, the hat is quite neat and clean on either sides. So, I hope you like this hat. First, we'll be working this band. For my friends who are already my family, I welcome you all. And for the friends who are joining me here for the first time, please do consider subscribing to my channel. That means a lot. So let's have fun crocheting this beautiful hat together. So here I have chosen yarn of my choice in different colors. Nextly, a crochet hook of 3.0 millimeters. A pair of scissors, cotton thread with a needle which has a big eye, few stitch markers. So let's get started. So first we'll work that band of SCs. Work a slip knot and chain 16 plus 2. So work a total of 18 chains. Keep counting till you reach 18. So I've worked my 18 chains and then skip 2 chains and in the 3rd chain into the hook and work 1 SC. Again into the next chain insert the hook work 1 SC. Into the next chain work 1 SC simple we're just going to work SCs all along. Into the next chain work 1 SC single crochet into the next chain work 1 SC. Just like this, keep working SCs into every chain ahead. I'll see you at the end. At the end, we should have a total of 16 SCs worked. Then chain 1 and turn the work into the very first SC, work 1 SC. And then from here, we'll work into the back loops of the SC. So then insert the hook into the back loop of the next SC here and work 1 SC. Into the back loop of the next SC, work 1 SC. Into the back loop of the next SC, work 1 SC. Again, into the back loop of next SC, work 1 SC. Simple. Just keep working 1 SC into the back loop of every SC ahead till you reach the end. Like this. A ribbing kind of structure is created. So, I'll see you at the end here. So I'm reaching the end. I've reached the second last stitch. So then in the second last SC in its back loop, work one SC and then in this turning chain two, insert the hook and work one last SC. Again, we should have a total of 16 SCs worked. And we have our two rows of SCs worked till yet. Chain one again, turn the work, 
in the very first essay below work one essay again we'll work in the back loops now so then in the back loop of the next essay work one essay in the back loop of the next essay work one essay again in the back loop of the next essay work one essay just keep working one essay till you reach the end working essays in the back loops of the essays below like this this is what creates the texture to it so we've reached the end and then in this turning chain one i've worked my last sc so this is the simple pattern that we are going to work over and over to and fro till we reach our desired length the length that we have already measured for the head circumference and also it has to be in a multiple of 10 so here i have reached the head circumference that i desire and here my rows are in a multiple of 10 i have worked 110 rows here and if i simply measure it unstretched it comes to around 52 centimeters i need 54 centimeters 52 will easily stretch up to 54 so i'm st stopping at 110 rows so this strip is ready and nextly simply bring the two ends together we want to sew them together like this bring them together hold it like this and then we want to take out this loop onto this corner so from this corner insert the hook and pull the loop onto this side turn the work again and then chain one into the very corner two SCs of both the layers insert the hook and work one SC again insert the hook through the SCs of both the layers the next SCs and work one SC like this again through the next SCs of both the layers insert the hook and work one SC again through the next SCs of both the layers insert the hook work one SC just be careful that you are only working in this last mm. rows of both the ends so just keep working one SC atop the next SCs of put the rows together we are simply sewing the two pieces together working SCs atop the two layers like this and nextly I'm reaching the corner the second corner second last corner stitch I worked my one SC and then in this very corner chain insert the hook through both the layers and work a slip stitch like this so it's kind of joined with a ribbing of SC's here and it looks so nice remember we'll be working SC's on either sides I'll shortly tell you on this side we're going to work an edge so then chain one and onto this very side in the very first opening here work one sc this is our first layer that we have swan into the next row again work one sc insert the hook into the next row of the scs and work one sc we are kind of creating a border on this side of the edge again work one sc into the next row into the next row work one sc into the next row work one sc we are simply working one sc into every SC row ahead so just keep working one SC into each upcoming SC row ahead all the way round and I'll see you at the end here so here I have worked my SC's and have reached the hundredth row here and from here we should have 10 more SCs as I have worked 110 rows so then into the next row of the SCs insert the hook work 1 SC 1 into the next row work 1 SC 2 3 4 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here just before this ribbing into this last row work one SC that is hundred and ten, and then in the very beginning. S C inside the hook work one slip stitch to join this round here. A simple border of S C's is created on this side of this panel. And from here, I'll cut the thread. So I'll just secure the thread and cut it afterwards. And I'll be joining a new shade here, the beach shade. So into this very SC where we have tied the knot, I'll simply tie it like this with another loose end that's already there. Put tight knots to secure it well. And now we'll begin with the pattern. So insert the hook, pull up the loop and chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. This chain 3 stands for a DC. Then yarn over into the next SC below. Insert the hook, work 1 DC. So we have 2 DCs now. Yarn over into the next SC, work 1 DC. 3. Into the next SC, work 1 DC. 4. Into the next SC, work 1 DC. 5. Into the next SC work 1 DC, 6. Into the next SC work 1 DC, 7. And yarn over into the next SC work 1 DC, 8. So we have created 8 DCs in a row. And nextly, yarn over in the 9th stitch in the ne next SC, insert the hook and work 5 DCs in this very SC. So 1, 2, 3. 4 and 5. So we have created 5 DCs in this ninth SC below. And then work a popcorn with these 5 SCs. Like this. And chain 1. Yarn over into the next SC. Insert the hook and work 5 SCs. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 so this is the 10th SC into which we are working the 5 DCs and then work a popcorn out of it one more time chain 1 and then yarn over into the very next SC work 1 DC 1 this is how it looks yarn over into the next SC work 1 DC 2 into the next SC work 1 DC 3 into the next SC work 1 DC 4 into the next SC work 1 DC 5 into the next SC work 1 DC 6 into the next SC work 1 DC 7 into the next SC work 1 DC 8 so again we have 8 DCs in a row we are repeating the same pattern and then into this ninth SC ahead work 5 DCs 1 2 3 4 and 5 again create a popcorn with these 5 DCs worked like this chain 1 yarn over into the next stitch again will work a popcorn so go for 5 DCs in the next stitch 1 2 3 4 and 5 so again we have 5 DCs work a popcorn with these five DCs like this chain one yarn over and into the very next SC again begin working eight DCs in a row so go for eight DCs into every stitch ahead one two three four five six seven and one more time eight 
and then in the ninth and tenth stitches I had V work popcorn so then into the next stitch work 5 DCs create a popcorn with these 5 DCs here then chain 1 yarn over into the next stitch again work 5 DCs to create a popcorn Here in between these two popcorns, you can chain two also for your convenience for working in the rows ahead. So if you feel like we'll be working the same two popcorns in this chain one space between the two popcorns. So if you wish, you can work two trains between the two popcorns. So here we chain three that counts as a DC and created seven DCs. So we have eight DCs and then one DC onto one DC and then into the next two stitches we work two popcorns and same way we created two more repetitions of the same pattern eight dcs and two popcorns and uh, this is the pattern we are going to follow in this round so go all the way round working eight dcs and two popcorns and i'll see you at the end here just keep working eight dcs two popcorns so here i have worked this pattern all the way around following it the same way and nextly, I have completed it till 100 rows and 10 more rows to go. So then I'll go for one more repetition the same way. 1DC into the next SC 8 times. And nextly, I have 109 and 110th row left. So into the next SC row, I'll work my 5 DCs to create a popcorn here. Work a popcorn with these 5 DCs and chain 1. Yarn over, we have 1 stitch, 110th stitch in my case left. Into this stitch also, I'll work 5 DCs to create a popcorn with it. 3, 4 and 5. Work a popcorn with these 5 DCs and chain 1. And here in this top third chain, insert the hook and work a slip stitch to join this round here. So row 1 is completed here. And here, in my case, for 110 rows, I have gotten 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 repetitions of this pattern till here. Let's move to the row 2. Row 2 is same as row 1. So here chain 3, this chain 3 stands for a DC, yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC, so we have 2 DCs now. Yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC, so we have 3 DCs now. Work 1 DC into the next DC, 4. 1 DC into the next DC, 5. Work 1 DC into the next DC, 6. Work 1 DC into the next DC, 7. Work 1 DC into the next DC below, 8. So 8 times we created DCs and then in this chain one space between the two popcorns work five DCs. We are going to work a pair of popcorns here only and if you feel any difficulty you can go for chaining two between the popcorns in the rows ahead just for the sake of convenience. So then work a popcorn chain one and in the same chain one space below work five more DCs to create the second popcorn here. Work a popcorn. So we created two popcorns in this chain one space below. Then chain one, yarn over, and again we have DCs below. Work one DC on top each of the eight DCs ahead. One has already been worked. We are following the same pattern as row one. Two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट हैविंग क्रिएटेड एट डीसीज इन अ रो अगैन इन दिस चेन वन स्पेस बिटवीन द टू पॉपकॉर्न इन से दुक वर्क फाइव डीसीज वी आर क्रिएटिंग आर फर्स्ट पॉपकॉर्न हेयर work a popcorn with these five dcs and chain one here you can chain two also again in the same chain one space below work five dcs to work the second popcorn of this pair so then work a popcorn out of it so we created a pair of popcorns at top of pair of top popcorns below chain 1 and again we have eight dcs ahead just begin working one dc at top each of the eight dcs below 2 three, 4 5 6 7 and eight again we have a pair of popcorns will create a pair of popcorns at top them so we chain three worked seven dcs and then two popcorns at top popcorns then again worked eight dcs at top eight dcs and worked two popcorns at top popcorns and just like this we are going to move in this round this is the round 2 and just like these two rows we'll go for two more rounds three and four rounds will have the same pattern so just work four rounds following the same pattern i have completed row 3 and uh, i want to change the shade here so i'll just tie the knot and cut the thread and change the shade to this peach into the same chain 3 at the top of it i'm tying this thread here with another loose end that already is there put tight knots to secure the threads well if at all you are going for a shade change insert the hook out of this chain tree where you have tied the yarn and pull up the loop and we are beginning round 4 so then chain 3 and as i have already told round 4 is same as the three rounds below the pattern is same so then yarn over into the next dc work one dc so we have two dcs now counting first chain three also as a dc into the next dc work one dc three dcs worked till now then one dc into the next dc four work one dc into the next dc five work one dc into the next dc six work one dc into the next dc seven work one dc into this eighth dc below so we have eight dcs in a row again and then in this chain one space between the popcorn work five dcs to create the first popcorn of this pair work a popcorn with these five dcs and chain one yarn over again work five more dcs in the same chain one space below to work the second popcorn of this pair here for the sake of convenience you could also chain two between the two popcorns so as to have ease in working them in the rows ahead i'll be following chain one only between them so then after popcorn chain one and again we have eight dcs just work one dc out of each of the eight dcs ahead and follow the same pattern as we followed for the last three rows in this fourth row also so go all the way round like this i'll see you at the end here so here i have worked this fourth row also following the same pattern and reach the end and to join this round insert the hook into the stop third chain 
work one slip stitch to join this round here and uh, we have four rows got completed working eight DCs and two popcorns and nextly for the round five chain three that stands for a DC work one DC into the next DC two work one DC into the next DC three work one DC into the next DC four work one DC into the next DC five and one more time work one DC into the next DC six so we have six DCs in a row then yarn over insert the hook into the seventh DC below work it halfway yarn over insert the hook into the eighth DC below and work it halfway then yarn over pull through all the loops to decrease the two stitches together so we have now six and plus one decrease stitch here six DCs plus one decrease stitch then yarn over and in this chain one space between the popcorn again create this popcorn pair so then work five DCs two three four and five then create a popcorn with these five DCs like this chain one yarn over work five more DCs in the same chain one space here to create the second popcorn of this pair work a popcorn with this and chain one and again for the DCs will be following the pattern that we just did so then work six DCs in a row work one DC in the next DC one and we'll do it six times one DC into the next DC two work one DC into the next DC three work one DC into the next DC four work one DC into the next DC five and one more time work one DC into the next DC six so we have again six DCs in a row yarn over into the seventh DC below work one DC halfway yarn over into the eight DC below work one DC halfway yarn over pull through all the loops to decrease the two stitches together yarn over into this chain one between the popcorns work five DCs to create the first popcorn of this pair Then chain one yarn over again create five more DCs in the same chain one space below. We are creating the second popcorn of this pair. And then chain one and again we'll be working six DCs in a row and decreasing the seventh and eighth DCs stitches. So then we have now two DCs three four five and six work six DCs in a row reduce the next two stitches work one DC halfway then again into the next stitch work it halfway yarn over pull through all the loops seven and eight stitches are reduced together into this chain one space between the popcorns again create a popcorn pair the same way we did earlier one popcorn chain one and again work one popcorn into this chain one space here create a popcorn and chain one and again we have DCs work six DCs in a row and this reduce the last two DCs and just go all the way around in this round till you reach this end here. I'll see you at the end. So here I'm reaching the end of row 5. To end this round here, in the stop third chain insert the hook and work a slip stitch to join this round here. 5 rows ended here. Well, beginning row 6, so then chain 3. Yarn over work 1 DC into the next DC. So we have 2 DCs now. Work 1 DC into the next DC. 3. Work 1 DC into the next DC. 4. Work 1 DC into the next DC. 5. 
work one DC into the next DC six, and then we have this reduced stitch into this stitch also work one DC. So we have seven DCs in a row, and then again into this atop this popcorn pair create a pair of popcorn here as well the same way. So in this chain one space, work five DCs to create a popcorn. chain one yarn over and work one more popcorn working five dc's in the same chain one space below then chain one and again we'll be working seven dc's in a row so just work one dc atop each of the DCs below. And in this reduced stitch also work one DC. So we have seven DCs in a row. Again, create the popcorn pair atop this popcorn pair below. So just following the same pattern 7 DCs to popcorn 7 DCs to popcorn go all the way around and uh, we'll be working two rows with this pattern so work this one and go for one more row after that and I'll see you then so here I have worked these two rows with 7 DCs and two popcorns to begin the next row chain 3 this is our seventh row into the next DC work one DC so we have two DCs now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows completed. This is the 7th row. Into the next DC, work 1 DC. So we have 3 DCs. Into the next DC, work 1 DC. So here we have 4 DCs in a row. Yarn over. Into the next DC, work 1 DC. So we have now 5 DCs in a row. Nextly, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, work it halfway. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, work it halfway. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. So we have again decreased 6 and 7 stitches together after working five dc's in a row yarn over atop this popcorn pair create another popcorn pair so work first popcorn creating five dc's into this chain one space below three four and five create a popcorn and chain one again work five dc's into the same chain one space below create a popcorn and then chain one so here we created five DCs and reduced two stitches sixth and seventh one then again we'll follow the same pattern into the next DC work one DC into the next DC work the second DC into the next DC work the third DC into the next DC work the fourth DC into the next DC work the fifth DC of this row and we'll be decreasing six and seven stitches together so then yarn over insert the hook into the six stitch below work it half pay yarn over insert the hook into the seven stitch below work it half pay yarn over pull through all the loops so here again two dc's are decreased again work a pair of popcorns atop this pair of popcorns below chain one and again work one more popcorn here with five dc's in the same chain one space below <clears throat> and create a popcorn with these five dc's 
then chain 1 and we'll just be following this pattern 5 DCs and then a decrease of 2 stitches and then a pair of popcorn again 5 DCs in a row decrease of 2 stitches and then a pair of popcorn just like this move all the way around in this round I'll see you at the end here so here I've reached the end of row 7 worked my last popcorns and then in this top third chain insert the hook and work a slip stitch to join this round here 7 rows completed 6 and 7 then chain 3 we are beginning our row 8 yarn over into the next DC work 1 DC so we have 2 DCs now yarn over insert the hook into the next DC work 1 DC so we have 3 DCs now again yarn over work 1 DC into the next DC so this time we are working 4 DCs in a row and then yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch work it halfway yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch work it halfway and then yarn over pull through all the loops to decrease the two stitches together so this time we are working four DCs in a row and then decreasing fifth and six stitches together then work a pair of popcorn atop this pair of popcorn below in this chain one space between them like this create a popcorn and chain one and again we'll work four DCs in a row so then work one DC into the next DC yarn over work one DC into the next DC two work one DC into the next DC three work one DC into the next DC four and then we'll be decreasing five and six stitches together into the fifth stitch work it halfway yarn over insert the hook into the sixth stitch work it halfway then yarn over Pull through all the loops to reduce the two stitches here and then again work two popcorns atop two popcorns below in that chain one space. Simple. Then chain one and create one more popcorn with five DCs. work a popcorn with these five DCs chain one and again just keep following four DCs plus reduce two stitches five and six and then work a pair of popcorn atop the pair of popcorn below and move all the way round just following this pattern I'll see you at the end here so here I have worked this pattern all the way round and reach the end of row eight insert the hook in the stop third chain work a slip stitch to join this round here Nextly to begin round 9, in round 9 we will be going for 2 decreases so then chain 3 and we will go for the first decrease, insert the hook into the next stitch work it halfway, yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch work it halfway, yarn over work it all the way through all the loops so we have after chain 3 reduce 2 stitches again reduce the 2 next upcoming stitches like this the same way. So here after chain 3 we reduce, reduced 2 stitches twice. And then here between this chain one space work popcorn pair the way we always do work five DCs create a popcorn with it and chain one yarn over again work five DCs in this chain one space below work a popcorn with this chain one and again just work one DC into the next DC and we'll go for the decrease of next two stitches two times so then work the next stitch halfway yarn over work the second stitch halfway then yarn over pull through all the loops we decrease two stitches again insert the hook into the next stitch work it halfway insert the hook into the next stitch work it halfway yarn over pull through all the loops so we have again 
decrease the next substitution. So we are going for decrease two times after working one DC. In this popcorn again atop the popcorn pair work another popcorn pair the same way we always do. Chain 1, one more popcorn to be worked in the same chain 1 space here, working 5 DCs here. Work a popcorn and chain 1. So, in row 9, we are just working 1 DC and then we go for 2 decreases of the 2 stitches ahead 2 times. Again, work 1 DC into the next DC and go for decrease of next 2 stitches like this. And then again, yarn over, go for the decrease of next 2 stitches like this. So just following this pattern, go all the way round, and I'll see you at the end here. So here I have reached the end of row 9. And to end this round again, insert the hook into this top third chain, work a slip stitch to join this round here. 9 rows get completed here. And nextly, I'll put a knot and cut the thread as I'm going to change the shade here. Nextly, I'm having this cream shade that I'm going to join in this at the top of this third chain only. So secure the knot well and we'll begin with our 10th row here. Insert the hook, pull up the loop and chain 3. That stands for one DC here. Again, we have one reduced stitch next to it. Yarn over, work one DC into the next reduced stitch. And yarn over, work one DC into the next reduced stitch. So this time we are having three DCs in a row for the row 10. Then we have the popcorns, work pair of popcorns in this chain one space below. The same way we used to do. Chain 1 and again work one more popcorn with 5 DCs. Chain 1. Simple. So this time we are going to work 3 DCs in a row and a pair of popcorn. So then into the next DC work 1 DC. Into the next reduced stitch, work 1 DC. Into the next reduced stitch, work 1 DC. Again, we have 3 DCs in a row created. And work a pair of popcorns atop this pair of popcorns below in the chain 1 space between them. Chain 1. Work one more popcorn here in the same chain one space below. Then chain one and again we'll go for three DCs in a row. So then into the next DC work one DC. Into the next reduced stitch work one DC. Into the next reduced stitch work 1 DC so we again have created 3 DCs in a row and again work that popcorn pair atop that popcorn pair below. Just follow the same pattern and reach the end I'll see you there. So here I have reached the end of row 10. To end this round insert the hook in this top third chain work a slip stitch to join this round here. 10 rows ended 
Till now, chain 3, we begin our 11th row. Yarn over, work 1 DC into the next DC. And yarn over, work 1 DC into the next DC. Again, we have 3 DCs in a row, counting first chain 3 also as the DC. And then yarn over into this chain 1 space. Between the popcorns, one work a popcorn pair the same way. So work 5 DCs here. Create a popcorn with them. Chain 1, yarn over. Work 5 more DCs in the same chain 1 space below. Work a popcorn with this and chain 1. So here we had 3 DCs, 2 popcorns and again we will just go like this. So then into the next DC work 1 DC, into the next DC work 1 DC, into the next DC work 1 DC. This row is same as the row below as the row 10. So then work a popcorn pair atop this popcorn pair below. We are working here the 11th row. Work a popcorn with these five DCs. And chain one and again work three DCs atop three DCs ahead. Just go all the way around and I'll see you at the end. So here I have reached the end of row 11th. Insert the hook in this top third chain, work a slip stitch to join this round here. To begin row 12, chain 3 and yarn over will decrease the next 2 stitches. So then insert the hook into the next DC and work the DC halfway. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, work the DC halfway. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. So after chain 3, we decrease the 2 stitches together and then here in this chain 1 space, yarn over and work 5 DCs. And work a popcorn here and chain one that's it we are not going for another popcorn here will not work the pair then again in this next DC work one DC yarn over reduce the next two stitches insert the hook into the next stitch work the DC halfway yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch work the DC halfway yarn over pull through all the loops so again second and third stitches are reduced here and into this popcorn in the chain one just work one popcorn here between these two popcorns in the chain one space so work five DCs create a popcorn and chain one that's it and again just work one DC into the next DC and we'll go for a decrease nextly yarn over insert the hook into the next DC work the DC halfway yarn over Insert the hook into the next DC, work the DC halfway, yarn over, pull through all the loops. So again, after the DC, we reduce the two stitches together. And again, in this chain one space between the popcorns, just work one popcorn and chain one. Simple. This is our row 12th that we are working into. Again, 1 DC into the next DC and go for a decrease of the next two stitches. Simple pattern to follow in this round. Just keep moving and working the same way. 1 DC and then reduce 2 DCs and then work 1 popcorn chain 1 and go all the way around. I'll see you at the end here. So here I have reached the end of row 12. 
to join this round in the hook in the top 13 work a slip stitch to join this round here so here 12 rows get completed and the hole is gotten too small now we have reached the top of this cap for the row 13 chain 2 into this next reduced stitch work 1 HDC then yarn over in this popcorn atop it work 1 HDC so we have 3 HDCs then yarn over into the next DC after the popcorn work 1 HDC into the next reduced stitch work 1 HDC and in this chain 1 of the popcorn work 1 HDC so we are just working HDCs atop each of the 3 stitches below again across this popcorn in the next DC work 1 HDC in the redu reduced stitch work 1 HDC and in the popcorn work 1 HDC then in this DC work 1 HDC half double crochet in this reduced stitch work 1 HDC and atop this popcorn in the chain 1 space work 1 HDC we'll just move like this till end then again across this popcorn in this DC work 1 HDC work 1 HDC in this reduced stitch work 1 HDC in this chain 1 space of the popcorn again in the next DC work 1 HDC in the next reduced stitch work 1 HDC atop this popcorn work 1 HDC just keep following the same pattern working HDCs all the way around through this round I have already mentioned the stitches into which we are working the HDCs And then in this chain one switch the popcorn work one HDC half double crochet so in the 13th round we are working HDC's and that's why we chained two in the beginning and have reached the end into this top second chain is the hook work a slip stitch to join this round here so I have worked it all the way and nextly I'm going to cut the thread putting a knot here and also I'll keep a long thread here while putting the knot so make sure that you have a long tail behind and nextly we will flip this cap over and take out the wrong side up so then thread your needle with this loose end and flip the cap over. Bring the inside onto the outside and now this is the wrong side of the cap showing up in these rows of DCs. I'll just work running stitch around them like this. Just grab every stitch and around them keep inserting your needle. We are simply working a running stitch around the HDCs of this row like this so move all the way around like this and after you have reached the end, the very starting point where we began sewing, pull the thread tightly so that this opening is now closed. Hold it here. See, this is the right side facing up and it's well joined and this opening is well closed here. So then hold it tightly here and I'll put a few knots here. A few tight knots so again I'll work a couple of knots here in this HDC row on the opposite side the inside of the cap to secure the thread well
and nextly into this rows of HDC only I'll secure a little length of this thread to make the knots more sturdy like this having secured the thread enough times cut that extra thread and place you in the loose ends wherever onto the inside take the front side out see this is how it looks at the top of the cap the opening is well closed here so here this cap is ready and it is complete for an adult and uh, for children we would like to add uh, earplugs with strings adults who also want to have their caps with the earplugs they can also wear it that way otherwise this cap is complete till now to be worn and nextly we'll add the earplugs and the strings so here i'm going to work the earplugs in cream shade so then work a slip knot and chain five one two three four and five insert the hook into the first chain work a slip knot to join this round here this magic ring is created nextly chain three yarn over insert the hook in the center of this magic ring and work one dc so we have two DCs now. Again into this ring work one DC. Three DCs worked. Into the same ring work one more DC. Four. Work one DC into the ring. Five. And keep counting. Work one DC into this ring. Six. And just keep working DCs till you have a total of 16 DCs. So here I have reached the end worked all my 16 DCs and in this top third chain insert the hook work a slip stitch to join this round here then chain 3 and into the same stitch work 1 DC again yarn over into the next DC below work 2 DCs 1 and 2 yarn over into the next DC below work 2 DCs 1 and 2 Yarn over into the next DC, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2, simple and just keep working 2 DCs atop each of the DCs below till you reach the end. You should have 32 DCs at the end here. So here I have finished all my DCs and in this top third chain insert the hook and work a slip stitch to join this round here. So then take this loop and Around this chain 3, work a slip stitch like this and then chain 2. Nextly, we are going to work front post half double crochets. So then yarn over around the next DC below like this, work one front post half double crochet. Yarn over around the next DC below, work one FP HDC like this. Yarn over. Around the next DC below, work one front post, half double crochet, like this. See, a kind of textured ribbing is created. Around the next DC, work one FP HDC, front post, half double crochet. Around the next DC, create one FP HDC. Simple. We're just going to work one FP HDC into every DC below. I'll see you at the end. This is how it looks from the sides. So I've reached the end, worked all my FPHDCs, then in this top second chain insert the hook and work one slip stitch to join it here. Pull that loop and flip this up from the back side just below it. Insert the hook and we want to take this loop onto this side so keep the loop a little stretched. And then here chain 3. We have reached this DC row and then yarn over. Into the next DC, work 1 DC. So we have 2 DCs now. And into the next DC, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. So we work 2 DCs in a row and then in the third stitch, we work 2 DCs together. Then into the next stitch, work 1 DC. Into the next DC, work 1 DC. And into the next DC, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2 in the same stitch below. Simple. 
yarn over into the next DC below work 1 DC into the next DC below work 1 DC and into the next DC below work 2 DCs in the same DC below 1 and 2. Simple pattern to follow all through this round 2 independently and then 2 in one stitch and go all the way round. I have worked it all the way and reach the end one more repetition to go so then into this next DC work one DC into the next DC work one DC and in this last stitch I'll work two DCs to end this round here one and two and then insert the hook in the stop third chain this textured circle is being created in this stop third chain then insert the hook and work a slip stitch to join it here and nextly one more time i want to create uh, this ribbing the same way we did here so again stretch the loop we'll create this ribbing again of fphdc's stretch the loop and around the chain three below work one slip stitch like this and chain two again one and two Yarn over around the next DC below work 1 FP HDC front post half double crochet. Yarn over around the next DC below work 1 FP HDC front post half double crochet. Again around the next DC work 1 FP HDC simple. We are creating the same kind of pattern as we did earlier to create this texture. So just keep creating one FBHDC into every DC below till you reach the end and I'll see you at the end here. So here I have worked all my FBHDCs and reached the end. Into this top second train, insert the hook and work a slip stitch to join this row here. So this finishes here, pull up the loop, flip this circle over and just the stitch which is beneath this loop, insert the hook from here. And we want to take out this loop onto this side where we have our hook. So just pull it onto this side. Keep the loop a little stretched. Don't tighten it much then. So this textured circle is created. Then we'll go for one more round. So chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. Turn this yarn over into the next DC below. Work 1 DC. Counting first chain 3 also is the DC, we have 2 DCs. Into the next DC, work 1 DC. And into the next DC, work 1 DC. So we have a total of 4 DCs in a row. Then yarn over into the 5th stitch below, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. Again into the next stitch, work 1 DC. Into the next stitch below, work 1 DC, 2. Into the next stitch, work 1 DC, 3. Into the next stitch work 1 DC 4. Again 4 DCs in a row are created. Into the next stitch work 2 DCs 1 and 2. So we are working 1 DC into 1 DC 4 times and then into every 5th stitch we work 2 DCs. So just keep following this pattern 4 and 2, 4 and 2 and keep moving like this through this round and I'll see you at the end here. So here I have reached the end, worked the pattern all the way around and one more repeat to go here. So I'll go for one more repeat. Yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC. Now I just have one stitch left, that is the fifth one. Yarn over into this last stitch, work 2 DCs. 1 and 2. And then into the stop third chain of the beginning insert the hook work a slip stitch to join this round here so this head of the earlobe is ready see how textured and beautiful it looks i'll secure the knot and cut the thread here so after this we'll be working the string for this earlobe so here I have taken four pieces of yarn, the same yarn I worked my earlobe with and these four yarns are two meter long, same size and nextly hold them together. I am taking here a four millimeter crochet hook and we are going to chain, simply we will chain using these four yarns. So work a slip knot like this 
and then begin chaining. Just hold all the four yarns properly and uh, begin chaining like this. And just keep chaining till you reach your desired length for the string of the loop. Simple. I just love this kind of string because it's very easy to work it. So then, so here my string is ready and if I just measure it randomly it comes to around 35 centimeters and that is enough for me. So on this end, the working end, I'll simply put a knot like this and tighten it up. This head will be attaching with our earlobe and this end, onto this end will be working a small popcorn. So here this earlobe is ready. Keep it like this, the wrong side up. We have four strings here. Grab the two loops and grab the two loose ends and then thread your needle with them and we'll use this thread only to secure the string behind this yellow. So into this third D0 here, I will simply secure this here, working a couple of knots and securing the thread. And secure this thread in this round only like this having secured it enough cut that extra end <clears throat> and then we have another two strands the loose ends again thread your needle with these two and we want to fix this string into this edge of this ear loop properly like this. So I'm just sewing this here together like this. Simple stitching is needed and it will be perfectly joined. Because it will be good if it is properly joined till the end of this circle. So it's well joined and I've secured the thread as well, putting a knot. And then on this end, we're going to work a popcorn. So here, in this knot, I have taken a 3mm hook and I'm inserting into this very end. Pull the yarn and tie the knot here. Hold these loose ends onto one side and here only again insert the hook. This is 3 millimeter crochet hook. Insert the hook and pull up a loop and chain 4. Then yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same chain space and work one triple crochet. Yarn over twice again, insert the hook into this that very chain and work a triple crochet. So we have three triple crochets counting first chain four also as a triple crochet. We have three triple crochets work till now. Don't worry about these loose ends. They'll be adjusted soon. So then just keep working 16 such triple crochets. I have worked my 16 triple crochets and reached the end. And nextly I'm going to put the knot and cut the thread. Keeping this tail a little long. So here I have taken thread into my needle. This is the loose end which I have taken a little long and flip it onto the back side, the petal kind of structure that we have created and grab all those loose ends and just put them into this petal like this and hold it like this. And we simply first want to sew this edge of this petal together. 
so just work stitches at the edge of this portion we simply want to sew the two pieces together like this And now this edge is well spent. Nextly, we'll be working to sew this upper portion. So, just begin working running stitch around every next triple crochet, around every alternate triple crochet like this, all the way around. Just grab every alternate triple crochet like this till you reach the beginning and I have reached here then pull this thread tightly so this opening is closed now and here only we'll put a couple of knots to seal it even better like this working a few stitches to and fro put knots and secure the thread into this popcorn only see a beautiful popcorn at this end of this string is created so here our ear lobe along with the string is ready to be fixed with the hat so let's go ahead And nextly we are going to work a pom pom here. I have taken the same thread around 1 feet long and keep it on the table like this. Nextly I have chosen this glass to work my pom pom. So I will be wrapping the yarn around this rim of the glass here like this. So grab your shade and begin wrapping it around. So here it's reached enough thickness. Nextly I will cut the thread and we will just take out these wrapped loops out of this glass take this entire thing out we have loops hold it like this stretch it well and then in this thread we'll just wrap this thread around it as tight as you can and work knots really tight knots to secure these loops well in place so make sure that the knots are really tight put a couple of knots to really secure it well like this next we will be cutting these loops on both the sides so try to grab every loop wherever begin from one side and then the loops on the other side also have to be cut the same way like this cut the loops wherever they are and uh, we'll first trim this section the half of this Hold it, the entire thing like this and trim it down. Whatever is extra, like this. Be careful while doing it. Onto the other side also, trim it the same way. So then open up the entire thing and flatten it like a circle and then again trim it on all the sides. Roll it like this to see if it's done well and then trim wherever there are long threads. So this pom pom is ready and this is our cap. 
I have a long thread with the needle of the same sheet and will be putting sewing this pom pom atop this hat here. So insert the needle from the underside like this and take it out on this DC row. We'll be sewing the pom pom in this HDC row. Sorry, in this last HDC row, we'll be sewing the pom pom. So take it out and make sure that you have around uh, a few centimeters of thread loose end onto the inside. We'll be putting the knots onto the inside to secure the pom pom. So we need a little long loose end here like this and then hold your cap properly put this pom pom properly well in place and then through the wrapped yarn which is wrapped at the center of this pom pom work stitches like this Into the center of this pom pom, I'm working the stitches. So, then first we'll put a knot here to hold the two pieces well in place, and then it will be much easier to sew them together. So, it's now placed here. We'll work a few more stitches here. This is the wrapped yarn. We'll just work stitches back and forth to secure the center. Of the pom pom with the center of the hat like this having made enough stitches again put the knots cut that extra thread and sew in the loose ends well onto the inside and wherever see our pom pom is so beautifully swan with the hat and it's really a strong sew here So pom pom is added nextly we will be adding the ear plugs so here i have my yarn ready with the needle and this is the ribbing that we created where we sew these two ends so from here i'll count around eight ribs or eight rows and after eight rows i'll put my ear lobe here like this don't stretch either of the fabrics just keep them naturally flat like this and see how I am placing my ear lobe onto this panel leaving around one finger gap onto the upper side hold the two pieces together putting either eye pins or sifter pins like this we will be sewing it with the hat so make sure that you don't stretch it it has to come fall natural and then put the safety pin on this side as well and now the two pieces are well held nextly <clears throat> I'll just put one more safety pin here done see how I have placed this ear loop and I have my thread with the needle ready with the same shade and see this much I have kept kept onto the outer edge and uh, so that is not completely overlapping this rib section and then from here from the underside of this section I begin working small stitches to and fro back and forth simple running stitch working alternatively into every DC ahead like this and don't stretch the two fabrics at all Just work tight, tight stitches and keep re removing these pins when that section is well swam. I'll just show you how it looks.
I have swim till here and this looks quite neat. The same way carry on sewing it. Now I have reached this end of the earplug. In the corner sew it well and then take out the thread onto the underside here. Flip it and keep it like this. We'll be sewing this section now. So then here also we'll be working stitches back and forth and make sure that you work smaller stitches onto the outside in the ear plug and that you don't crush or insert the needle through the ribbed portions as it will not look clean then. So make sure that you're just working on the flat surface of this ear lobe on the outer side. Here I'm just taking care that it's not in piercing my rib. The FPH disease that we created. Then in the corner also here, secure the two pieces well with the knot. We already had a loose end here and we came a full circle. So it's well swan, see? It looks so neat on this side as well. Now, cut that extra thread and then sew in this loose end into this white section only. So I've thread my needle with these loose ends and I'll take them out into this off white section and secure it there, putting a couple of knots and then secure the thread into this section only. So here our ear lobe is very well swan with the hat here and we have already seen how neat and clean it looks onto the outside and as well as onto the inside. Cut that extra thread, it's secured well and the same way put the second ear lobe also. See this is the inside and it looks so beautiful. On both the sides so this is swan well the same way from one ear lobe skip around nine ribs and then place the other ear lobe the same way we put that one and sew it well on this side here if we just measure the distance between them it comes to around nine centimeters or so and if we place them together like this then this is the back section this is the back section of the hat and it comes to around 4.5 centimeters this is the front portion so here a hat is ready and i hope you enjoyed the pattern and love the hat many thanks to you all once again have fun learning have fun crocheting see you next time